Hello and welcome to Healthy Moments. This is a show where I digest health across branded news and beyond. The first article of the week it fits into the oddball category, and it's about why our eyelids get heavy when we get sleepy. So this is one of those questions that you think people would ask as they grow up, but most of us never do. If you did, kudos to you. But the answer is really quite simple. The eye muscles are no different than any other muscles. From prolonged use, they get tired. Now we use our eyes to scan our environment and concentrate on computer screens to gather information and uh, get entertainment. Now that being said, when you close your eyes and rub them, that, that is no different than getting a back or neck rub and doing some stretching. The muscles that the article mentions specifically are the levator, the frontalis, which is this muscle in the front of the skull, and the mullers. All the key terms are linked to their, dis their definitions in the description below. Next up, is there a link between Coke, Pepsi, and cancer? Well, not really. There was a chemical called ammonia sulfite that was put on the carcinogen list last year. This means that Coke and Pepsi have to start putting cancer warning labels on the products that use ammonia sulfite, or also called 4MI. Um, just to let you know that it would take a thousand cans a day to be at risk of cancer, and it's more likely that you'll get type 2 diabetes from drinking too much soda than it would be that you would get cancer caused by this uh, coloring. Regardless, if they change the ingredients or they have to change the label anyway, so it would be cheapest to just change the label, but it would be the safest route if they would actually take out the dye and use a different one. Scientists are working on a new delivery system for chemotherapy that will make it safer on non-cancerous cells. They have found a new molecule that they can use to transport chemotherapy drugs directly to the tumors and stay away from non-cancerous cells. Okay, let me give you an example of what's going on. So let's say that the chemo drug is a letter in an envelope. Now traditionally they would put millions of the same envelope addressed to the same person into a plane and over a hundred miles they just spread these letters hoping that the right person is going to get it. The new delivery system would work like the postal service where it would be targeting the, the tumor cells which means that a postal worker will take a truck and deliver it directly to your address and you're the only person who's going to get your letter with no worries about damaging your neighbor's yard with your envelopes and them getting your secret information. The whole point of the new drug transport system would be to get rid of all the side effects like vomiting, nausea, and hair loss. Is this new medical marvel cost effective and profitable enough for pharmaceutical companies to apply it across a broad spectrum of medications? Who knows, but we can all hope so. The last story of the day is about a subject that I'm kind of sick of covering. This is probably the third or fourth time I'm covering it, and it's a Shalania, an MS drug. It's back in the spotlight. Scientists in Japan found promising results when using Shalania on spinal cord injuries in mice. Some research from Novartis, the company that produces uh, Jelenia, was disclosed and it talks about the anti-inflammatory capabilities of Jelenia and also some regenerative uh, capabilities that they're finding in these spinal cord injuries. The main point of the article is that if you do have any type of spinal injury, go get immediate medical attention because it will make all the difference in the world. That's all for this week. Please participate in the discussions going on my Facebook and Twitter and don't be a stranger. Subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, wealthy, witty, and wise, and I'll see you next time.